Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. Uh, wow. What a message today we have in store for you. And uh, the, the crux of this message here, I'm going to share with you here on Israeli News Live. But if you're the diehard that wants to know even deeper, join us over on Patreon.com forward slash Israeli News Live. You'll be able to see the entirety there. But the gist of things that we're going to go into here at the beginning of the message, you get to listen to here, right here on Israeli News Live, an amazing insight, one that I've never spoke about before, one I never knew about before. Let's just face the facts on that there. I want to take as, uh, you know, this picture here is a depiction of just Moses writing there, uh, but it just kind of reminds me of when John wrote in his gospel, chapter 5, going to verses 44 to 47, how can you believe which receive honor one of another and seek not the honor that comes from God only? Do not think that I will accuse you to the Father. There is one that accuseth you, even Moses, in whom you trust. For had you believed Moses, you would have believed me, for he wrote of me. But if you believe not his writings, how shall you believe my words? What a powerful statement. Generally speaking, when people hear that, they think of Deuteronomy chapter 15, or chapter 18, I should say. Verse 15, A prophet will the Lord thy God raise up unto you from the midst of thy brethren, liken unto me. Unto him you shall hearken, or listen. According to all that you didst desire of the Lord thy God in Horeb. Keep that in mind, by the way. In the day of the assembly, saying, Let me not hear again the voice of the Lord my God, neither let me see this great fire any more that I die not. Hold that in your mind as well. And the Lord said unto me, They have well said that which they have spoken. I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren, liken unto you, and I will put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak unto them all that I shall command him. And it shall come to pass that whosoever will not hearken unto my words, he shall speak that he shall which he shall speak in my name, I will require it of him. But the prophet that shall speak a word presumptuously in my name, which I have not commanded him to speak, or that shall speak in the name of other gods, that same prophet shall die. Hmm. That one is something that people need to really hearken to. Because that's going on on a regular basis as if God doesn't even hear. But, you know, that's just one place that Moses wrote about Jesus. There's another place, and we're going to go to that in just a few moments. I shared with you over here out of the book of John here just a moment ago where Jesus said, Even one accuseth you, even Moses, in whom you trust. For had you believed Moses, you would, you would have believed me, for he wrote of me. But if you believe not his writings, now there's the plural, how shall you believe my words? I've always believed that Moses had to have wrote of Jesus more than just one place. And I was right. In Deuteronomy chapter 33, I have it in the Hebrew and in the English opened up for you. And this is the blessing wherewith Moses, the man of God, blessed the children of Israel before his death. And he said, The Lord came from Sinai and rose up from Seir unto them. He shined forth from Mount Paran, and he came with ten thousands of saints from his right hand, went a fiery law for them. 
Yea, he loved the people, all his saints are in thy hand. And they sat down at thy feet, every one shall receive of thy words. Moses commanded us a law, even the inheritance of the congregation of Jacob. Let's look at this in Hebrew for just a moment, if you would. In verse 4, Moses commanded us a law, an inheritance of the congregation of Jacob. All right, Moses commanded us a law. Torah, Tzivala nu Moshe. That's Moses commanded us a law. It's kind of flip-flop the way it goes in Hebrew there. The word Torah is what everybody knows to be the law. Very few places in the entire scripture is there an English word law and then another word for the Hebrew word other than Torah. Most commonly is son-in-law, brother-in-law, father-in-law, daughter-in-law. All those law ones there have their own unique word. And it's not Torah. Also, in one place in all scripture, and I actually thought for a while that it was in no other place other than in the book of Daniel, Esther, and um, there's one other, one other place, I forget, Ezra, was, was the word dot used, dalit tav which literally means decree. It's generally spoken of as a king's decree. When a king gives forth a message. Well, I found the one obscure place in the book of Deuteronomy where Moses actually spoke of it. And it's right here in verse 2. He says here, at his right hand was a fiery law unto them. There it is right there. A fiery law was a fiery law. Now, here's what's fascinating. One, it doesn't say at his right hand, just at his right. It could be his right side. It could be his right hand. After all, we know that when Jesus rose up and to sit at the majesty, he sat where? At his right hand. That's an interesting thought, isn't it? Mimenu, there it is right there, at his right. Ishdat. Now, this is a repeat already. They highlight it themselves. They break it up as two words there. But right here in Hebrew, it's written as one word. H, actually, Eshdat is the right way to pronounce it. Eshdat. A fire, a fiery decree. They translate it was a fiery law unto them. But it's a king is who gives a decree. Jesus Christ was the king of Israel. And so, yes, remember what God says over in Deuteronomy. They didn't want God to speak to them anymore. They were afraid. Remember what I said for you to remember over here? They said, let not God speak uh, to us. Because why? They were afraid. Let's see. I told you to remember a couple of things and I forget where they're at now. So let me see if I can find them. Here we go, right here. Let me not hear again the voice of the Lord my God. Neither let me see this great fire anymore that I die not. Notice. He's going to raise up unto you from the midst of thy brethren liken unto me. Unto him you shall hearken. According to all that you did desire of the Lord thy God on Horeb 
in the day of the assembly, saying, Let me not hear again the voice of the Lord my God, neither let me see this great fire any more that I die not. This great fire, when God came down, he came down with the Ten Commandments. He wrote with the finger of God like a burning fire. He wrote the Ten Commandments on the stones. Wow. Wow. Didn't he say, though, that he would no longer, it would no longer be a commandment written in stone, but it would be written on the tables of your heart? I can believe that, because if you think about it, over in the book of Acts, and there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire, and it sat upon each of them, and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost, and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. What was it? It was the very fire of Almighty God, His Spirit, coming down and dwelling within the human heart of mankind. He was burning His law within their hearts. No longer on tables of stone. Not at all. But now, in the heart of man. See, they didn't want to see that great fire anymore. So there in Deuteronomy chapter 18, Moses wrote of Jesus. And then when we get all the way over here to Deuteronomy 33 and his departure, he's writing of him again. He came from the, he came from the myriads of, whole, of the holy ones, right? Now, I, I put it over here in the King James too because sometimes they just kind of word it a little bit easier for you to understand. He shined forth from Mount Paran. He came with ten thousands of saints. Just calls them Kodesh, the holy ones. Ten thousands of saints from his right hand went a fiery law for them. Why? They didn't want to hear God no more. So he said he would raise up a prophet likened unto him. So no wonder why it comes forth a fiery, but in this case, it's not called a Torah, but a dot. Esh dot. Why? Because he's the king. The king of Israel has now spoken and what he speaks. It is a decree that goes forth from his lips. This is so astonishing in my mind, right? Goes on, yea, he loveth the peoples, all his holy ones. They are that in thy hand, and they sit down at, at thy feet, receiving of thy words. Moses commanded us the law and inheritance of the congregation of Jacob. You see, that was the Torah. But the king has come. A prophet raised up likened unto Moses and he give a fiery decree because why? He is the king of Israel. And they took and they, and they did what? They sit at his feet receiving of his words. Boy, it doesn't have, I mean, how many times in scriptures they take and they, they would come out there by the thousands there uh, around the Galilee and they'd, Jesus would sit down and they'd all just, they'd sit at his feet and listen to him, the precious words that come from his mouth. Both Israelites and on the side of Syria, they did the same. On the side of Syria, they'd touch his garment and said they just wanted to be able to touch him. And every one of them that touched him were healed. I did that earlier. And, and um, let's see. Let me just put it right here. Um, set. Let me see. Feet. I think that's how I did it earlier. Let's see. Um, nope. Uh, set. We got here also set at Jesus' feet and heard his word. There's one right there. Luke chapter 10, verse 39. And she had a sister called Mary, which also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. Isn't that amazing right there? There, there actually earlier when I was looking up, there were so many, I, there was no way to put them up all on the screen for you. But now to take the time to find them all again is very difficult. But see, she sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. What does it say here? And they sit down at thy feet, receiving of thy words. 
<clears throat> just absolutely amazing. All right, listen, for those of you that are wanting to go deeper, join me over on Patreon. Uh, we're going to go a little deeper with you guys here. Those of you that are watching here on Israeli News Live, God bless you. Thank you for listening today. Um, and, and two, if you're going to be down in Atlanta, we're going to Atlanta to the, uh, it's a Life Wave conference. It's just one evening only. You have to be there at 730. If you're not a distributor, you, you get to come in for free and you get to try X39 for free. They'll give you one to try for yourself if you want. If you don't, you don't have to. Um, and but we're going to be there so we're hoping that you'll be there if you especially if you you're wanting to you've been thinking about trying it you just haven't decided yet or you've thought about this even as a business and or maybe you are doing it as a business and you really want to know more about how that really works listen this is definitely the place for you to be uh you're going to hear from doctors you're going to see uh people testimonies you know, I'm, I'm kind of giving you an idea what I think because I've been to one meeting already like that. It, it was really, really a blessing to be there. I was shocked at the number of believers, Christians. Uh, I met one minister there who who's, does very well with doing this uh, as a business as well, but he cared more about the gospel of Jesus Christ and that blessed my heart. In fact, I'm going to have him on sometime here uh, to share some of his insights from a book he just wrote uh, on faith. So, but anyway, if you're able to make it, I'll put all the details in the description below. It's tomorrow night, or excuse me, yeah, tomorrow night, Tuesday night, 7.30. I know it's at the uh, uh, Hilton in Atlanta, Georgia. And uh, I'll put those details in the description below. If you're a distributor, it's only $5. Uh, I think you pay at the door if I'm not mistaken as well. Anyway, hopefully we'll see you there. If you're able to email me, you're coming, do email me. Benun, B-E-N-N-U-N, X39 at gmail.com. I'll put that in the description. Just remember, I can't put the at sign because for some reason YouTube doesn't like you to put your email there. God bless you. Thank you for listening.